Today's ceremony has very special meaning. We are transferring power from Washington, D.C. and giving it back to you, the people. I think I can safely speak for, for the majority of this county in saying that Donald Trump resonated with the voters in Putnam County. We wanted to see that change, and this was the person we wanted to lead that change. And we voted that way. People came out in groves. I mean, they, we had so many people come to our little headquarters looking for signs. I mean, people go crazy over signs around here. There's a lot of Christians in this area, and I don't know if that was part of it or you know what, but this is a very pro-life area. I mean, I don't think Hillary really, um, I don't know what her problem was you know, with the group, she really tried to, to focus on the women's rights and women, women's whatever, you know, and that's not like us here, you know, I, and it, maybe that's what it is out in the big cities, I don't know, but here we have rights. I don't need somebody pulling for me, I guess. Their victories have not been your victories. Their triumphs have not been your triumphs. And while they celebrated in our nation's capital, there was little to celebrate for struggling families all across our land. Putnam County is very heavily uh, agricultural. Um, I don't remember the exact number, but something like 90% of our business uh, receipts are related to agriculture. I think economically, the farmers in this area felt that Trump would be more likely to relieve some of the burden of taxation that they face. Oh yeah, you're a good dog. Yeah. This back in here, this goes back to a tree line back here. That was the farm. I was the last one to get married in the family, so that's kind of how it come about. Dad realized he's going to retire, and then, what do you want to do? And I said, well, I guess I'll, I guess I'll help you. You know. I acquired the farm and stuff from my dad. He kept all the old records. But we put $60,000 on it. I farmed probably to about 2010 or 11. We had things to take care of, so I got out of farming. The taxes, like when we sold part of this, we paid like $53,000 in taxes. I said, isn't that amazing? You, you buy it from your parents and everything. It goes along and you sell it, and it costs $53,000 for taxes. <laughs> Just, that's, that's hard. We are one nation, and their pain is our pain. Their dreams are our dreams, and their success will be our success. I feel like I'm in a wait and see position. And I, I still am trying to figure out what, what can I do um, as a person with an opinion opposite of the incoming um, um, government. President Obama was just flat out a dignified person, um, took criticism so well. Um, and for so many years, I've been on the same, I, I've been of the opinion of the people uh, running the government. I've been on the same side as them. So now it's like, hmm, I know what it feels to be like on the other side of the fence, and I want to make sure I do it gracefully. There's really nothing to be scared of, <laughs> especially Americans, because you're American citizens, and you should know how America works. If any politician or any leader tries to take things in a different direction that we don't want, we'll stand up, and that's basically what happened here. And, you know, now I have a lot of expectation, and, and, I, and I want them to deliver on that. So to all Americans in every city near and far, small and large, from mountain to mountain, from ocean to ocean, hear these words. You will never be ignored again.